Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to have a quick look at the Forms feature of UiPress. Uh, pretty cool feature, it gives you a lot of flexibility, um, especially if you're dealing with themes or uh, site options or you want to make your own custom profile pages for example. Uh, that's actually something we're going to have a look at today, is making a quick and easy form that can update the user's first and last name. Alright, so let's jump in. Um, we're in the UI Builder here, I'm going to go into the blank layout. And here I've already just put in a container with some padding, nothing too crazy. So let's scroll down to the form blocks. So we've got all these different options here, all the usual inputs, image select, checkbox, text input, that kind of stuff. Um, but the first thing we want to start with is the form block. So let's go ahead and drag one of those in right here. And what we've got is a little drop area and the send button, um, but not much else. So let's go ahead and drop in a text input. Okay, so now we've got a little form, a submit button, and the text input. It's not going to do anything when you press send because we haven't configured the form, uh, but we're getting somewhere. So let's click on the text input here, go to block options, and here you'll, got, here you'll see we've got some options for label, placeholder, the input type, um, whether it's a required field or not, if we switch that to on, then you'll see it's got native um, validation. Let's turn that off again. Um, so let's give it a quick label of, uh, let's say, first name and placeholder of first name. That's all going to live update in the preview here. Now, the important part of this form um, for your inputs is the meta key. Uh, now, depending on what you're doing with the form data, uh, this can be anything you want. Um, for the purpose of this video, we're actually going to be updating the user meta. Um, so, because we're on the first name here, let's change that to first underscore, oops, first underscore name. This is the meta key of um, the first name in the user profile for WordPress. All right, so we're pretty happy with all of that. Um, we don't need to style it right now. Now, let's go up to the form block and block options. And here you'll see uh, the different options for the form. Um, we've got the different success message uh, because we're gonna be doing a profile page. Let's update that uh, to profile updated. Um, now, uh, the key thing here with the forms is the submit type. We've got four options. Uh, one is email, We've got save as site option, save as user meta, and send to PHP function. Uh, the email is quite self-explanatory. It will send the form data to the specified email. You can have a custom message, uh, which you can also use variables in from the form. Um, save as site option is user meta. Uh, quite self-explanatory and send to PHP function with this one you can specify your own function and have the the form send the data to that and you can do whatever you want with it but for this video and for today's example we're going to look at user meta and for our save as type we want individual keys the group object is for saving the whole form um, under one key uh, but for this we want to do individual meta per forming file. Okay, so now that's set up. Um, the last option we want to look at is the pre-fill form data. And what this is going to do is going to analyze your form uh, via all the meta keys that you set. So this one we've got first name. Um, it's going to look at the submit type, which we've got user meta, individual keys, and it's going to try and find that data. Um, it can do this for anything, no matter how you set it. Uh, but for today, we're looking at the user profile data. So if we click that, you'll see it's pulled in my first name from my user profile. Um, straight away, super simple. And now we have a functioning form. So let's save this out. Set it as an admin page. Let's say user profile. 
set it to active and set my user. All right. So now we have this option down here and we've got our super basic form. Uh, so let's change my name. Let's put in John and send. That's our custom message from before. Um, we can refresh the page. You'll see it's saved the data as John. Let's go over to our WordPress user profile. And here we go. My first name has changed. Now let's go back into the builder, have a look at some of the other options. So we've got checkbox, color select, date range, form, image select, all these different things. But um, for today's example, let's just finish off our basic user profile form. Let's put in another input. We'll just duplicate it. Let's change this to last name. Uh, and let's put in text area for our description. So you can see it's pulled in my last name already, first name. Um, with the text area, we haven't actually set a meta key, uh, but let's set that to description and it should update. Yep, that's my current description right now. Um, so now this form will be able to save our first name, last name, and our bio. But it looks a bit funky. Maybe we want to improve the layout. So let's grab a container block and put that in the form too. And let's put our inputs in the container. The container block is a really quick and easy way to organize pretty much anything uh, within the UI builder. Uh, you can set a bunch of flex options and it will just um, lay out everything as you need it. So that's in the container block options. Let's set it as column. That's already looking better. And let's give it a little row gap of 30. And let's have a look at that. All right, so maybe let's just put a little bit of a margin on the form input. So go back to the form, submit button, and for margin, go to cost custom, and there we go. So, there's our first form. Let's go back to the profile page where we saved it to. You see that's all updated. Um, let's change that. Let's change my last name and leave the first. Profile updated. Go to user profile. There we go. We made another form and my last name is now Smith. Now it's worth noting that um, this obviously doesn't just work with um, predefined keys or you know, you're not locked into what meta is currently saved um, via WordPress. Uh, you can do save whatever you want to the user object. Um, so for example, um, if we come back to our form here, maybe uh, for your current app or whatever you're developing with this, um, you want to be able to offer a user the ability to choose their favorite color, for example. So we can drag a color select in here and click on the options and you can save to your custom key. Favorite color. Um, obviously that's not going to be able to pre-fill anything yet because there's nothing saved for that. But let's have a look at that, how that looks. Let's give it a label, uh, fave color. There we go. Let's save that up. So now we've got our form with our pre-filled data, uh, but no color select. So let's give it a little, little pink color there, and let's save that up. And now when we come back to it, um, that will be saved to the user meta. There we go. And you'd be free to use that 
key for whatever you needed it for. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope you have a better understanding of how the forms work in UiPress. Um, UiPress 3 is now available from our site. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.